My name's Toxie and I'm here to show you some amazing, quick and easy, summery face paints. <laughs> Pop off, I'll show you my colours. I have a set of a white, pink and a blue. I'm going to keep this really super simple for you guys to follow. So I'm going to start with my lightest colour being the white. I'm going to load my brush and I'm going to take the white from the corners of my eyes and push up and out, creating C shapes that frame the sides of my face. I'm going to carry on the centre. So from there I'm going to take my brush, load it back up with the white and go back over these lines and add some more on each side. Just a few on each side, doesn't have to be even. From there what I'm going to do is wash my brush. And I'm going to go into my pink paint. Take my pink paint. And I'm going to add pink along the white lines in the same motions that I used before to add the whites. Just highlighting the edges, giving a little bit more colour on the physical side. Now be careful to make your paints not too watery here or they'll start dripping down your face when you go from there. So from here I've got my outsides covered with some colour. I'm going to wash my brush up again and I'm going to take that into the white paint Here I'm just going to add just a few stamped I guess, dots around the eyes, just a couple on each side, just to frame the face. So from there I'm going to go back into the white and I'm going to pick a different colour. So I'm going to pick my blue and take my brush and dip it right into the centre of the paint. Now I'm only going to fill the brush about halfway with the blue, so I've got a mix of blue and white on the brush. From here I'm going to use a stamp to get a petal pattern, so just like that. So I'm going to start on this side, press, I'm going to do a few petals for each flower. A bit like this. So I'm going to go around and add a few more, don't worry if they're a little bit messy. It will give you a really nice finish over all the summer. Look, so I'm going to add some to the other side now. Go back into my whites. Loading just the tip of the brush up with the blue. So come back over here. Now again, make sure that your brush isn't overly wet here or your paints aren't too wet. Because again, you'll get drips down your paint. So you really don't want that. Okay. I'm going to do one more just over here. Now if you want, you can go back in with your brush, wash it off, go back into your light colour, so white this time, and I'm going to go into the pink this time, my base, just the tip again, and I'm just going to add a few more little flowers around the green ones. Now as you can see these ones are much smaller because I'm pressing a lot lighter on yeah, my brush. The harder you press, the bigger the petals will be. So if I go crazy and push really hard, you're going to get a huge petal. If you're going softly, you get tiny little petals. <laughs> See it funny now, don't you? Now what I'm going to do is clean off my brush. Go back into your white, the nice bit brush. I'm going to tap off my excess, and just with the tip of my brush, I'm just going to go around and add a few white dots into the empty spaces that I've created in my face paint. Just to fill up some gaps and make it look a little bit more professional. A few white dots will go a long way in face painting. It pulls the whole face paint together. So it's quite hard to talk and paint at the same time. So here is a very simple summer fairy look. If you want to go a little bit extra, 
you can always add a crown. So going back into your white, going back into your blue or pink, completely up to you. Just the tip again, so you are creating a split brush method. And take the centre of your forehead and stamp upwards on either side to create a centrepiece to your face. Now you can do a few dots down your nose or even bring up some of those flicks from earlier. It is completely up to you what you do for that. So here is my summer fairy look. You can add a lot more, you can straighten it back just to the flowers. This is the finish look. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you're back soon to see the rest of the face.